Dickey, today's qualifying factor for acquiring Torah is minimizing socializing. And I realize there are different translations for the words in the Mishnah, but we'll use Project Kenyan Torah's translation for today. First, let's understand some of what Chazal teach us about socializing. Early in Perkei Avos, in the first parak, Chazal teach us, Gohamar basicha imaisha gorem ra la'atzmo, that a man who indulges in schmoozing with other women brings trouble upon himself, and as Sam Shemrafal Hurst teaches us, he jeopardizes the spirit of earnest duty and study to which his life should be committed to. This coming week, Bez Hashem, we're going to read the Parshish of Achrimos and Kedoshim. In Achrimos, we learn about the types of relationships that are forbidden to us. And then in the first Psukim of Parshish Kedoshim, we learn how Akadosh Baruch who tells Moshe to gather all of Bnei Yisrael and teach them the important dictum of Kedoshim to you. To be holy. Rashi says this means have a Purushim in our eyes, that they should separate themselves from those relationships where they are not allowed to be involved with. Because every time you find a place with our safeguards set up against such relationships, you find Kedusha. And the Kalyakar, the Archaim Kodesh, and the Ramban all teach us on this Pazak, have a Kadesh Atzmacha B'Motalach. It's teaching us to be mechanish ourselves, to mix ourselves wholly with those things which are permitted to us. Because otherwise, as the Ramban says, it's possible to be a manuval bershus Torah, to become a disgusting person with the permission of the Torah. The Torah doesn't explicitly say that it's aser and it's mutter, so therefore I can do it. And thereby, we could become a manuval bershus Torah. As an example, some married men and married women have the custom of, other than their own spouses, not to call one another by their first name, so as not to become buddy-buddy or create an aura of such. Again, it's just a gedder of these type of things that they feel brings another level of Kedusha and thereby mekayim the dictum of Kedushim to you. The Torah does not explicitly say that married men and married women are not allowed to play board games together or take walks together or spend extended periods of time together. But the Chavetz Chaim in the Mishnah Brua and Hilchas Yontov and Hilchas Shabbos says explicitly that the Rabbanim in a city should set up guidelines and enforce them, that especially in the longer summer months, that Yomtif and Shabbos, when we have, we're not at work and we have more time, that people should not spend these expended, extended periods of time together socializing, taking walks together, etc. Why? The Chafetz Chaim says, so we mekayim kedoshim to you, that we bring holiness to ourselves and therefore, thereby we'll be able to not only bring more kedusha to ourselves, but be able to acquire Torah both in our community, our shuls, and our families. This concludes section 16 of the Project Kenyan Torah.